Now, real quick, show and tell is a, a segment where you can, you basically get five minutes and you can show and tell whatever it is you want. Uh, someone didn't get the memo that it was supposed to be contained to five minutes, so this actually goes on for about 13 minutes. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm happy to pause it if you, if you guys, you know, want to say something uh, as, as we're watching this. And uh, my apologies to Brandon, because I, I wasn't clear about, you know, the length and breadth of the time, but I'm, uh, this, this project that he's got going on, King's Quest 2 SCI, as you know, King's Quest 2 is uh, uh, in, in, yeah, in 1985, uh, AGI, you know, 160 by 200, stretchy, chunky pixels, and he's doing a remake in, uh, in the style of the 1990s SCI games, so... Right, I'm just gonna sh shut up now and keep going. If you want, if if you have anything you want to uh, play for show and tell, send me a video and I will play it on stream as I'm doing with Brandon's right now. But anyway, shut up. Let's here we go. So King's Quest Two SCI is a remake of King's Quest Two in the same style as Sierra's King's Quest One. That's SCI what I just remake. said. Remake. <laughs> you see, I'm, I wrote a new title theme for the for for the game, which is based heavily on. Ken Allen's King's Quest 1 SCI theme. And uh, this music is supported in Adlib, MT32, PC Speaker, Tandy 3 Voice. And I'm going to shoot for General MIDI too. So you can use whatever sound fonts you want with it if you want through DOSBox or ScumVM or something. I want the broken one with all the bells and shit that we had on the pain train. So here's the introduction. Right now, it's just a carbon copy of the AGI original. Um, as far as looks very fine, sequence right? wise, yeah, it looks different, obviously, but it's all the same text from the AGI original game. And I sequenced in the animation to mimic what happens in the original. But I will be actually expanding on this and making it a little more interesting, kind of like Sierra's King's Quest One remake. Introduction. On oh, the magic I took this mirror. EGA picture of Graham from King's Quest V EGA and uh, right, photoshopped a crown on the wearing a toy crown. Good. I'm going to fix that up. I did that little animation <laughs> of his jaw opening there. Right bed, the this Quest shot, this background is from King's Quest IV. One of the funniest things I've heard in a very long time about games. It kind of kind of does look like he went to Burger King just before he went and, and had a look in the magic mirror, but I appreciate the effort. And I'm kind of proud of this little animation. I am animator, now the so. king. I went to the Burger King and I got a special... Yeah, I was kind of proud of that. <laughs> and that's basically and now now I got a king crown. <laughs> so at the beginning of the game, here we are, recreated. Oh, Trace Graham is a redneck. The AGI's possibilities. Anyway, coded in some <laughs> code like King's Quest 1 where you can just wade into the water. And that was your Welcome to this new Devon Tree, y'all. <laughs> like I said, I did trace over the AGI original. Come on back now, yes. In SCI's. Uh, I've been the king. I, I, threw a, I threw some water in a dragon's mouth. You know, <laughs> and uh, all of a sudden I got a mirror. Who I has a mirror these days? I don't even He's, have. Uh, your your gram has turned from being a redneck to a Canadian. <laughs> a, a Canadian redneck. I, I hear they. I hear they have pickup trucks in Canada too. I just like the idea of redneck uh, Graham inviting all the bitches to the yard uh, in King's Quest Two and going, "Not that one. Not that one. Not that one." Is that my cousin over there? Yeah. I no. No, that won't fly. No. It's from King's Quest One. You can actually copy. You like silverware? Uh, no. From good. Other pictures <laughs> I don't have any. And move them around and resize them and flip them and do whatever you want with them. So I took that bush from King's Quest One. Uh, I recreated this scene entirely. We'll drink from wine from the finest <laughs> solo cups in the land. Uh, in Australia, we have a thing called Actually, a goon to, bag, uh, which is like a foil bag that holds um, cheap white piss in it. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. We call him Capri Sun here in the U.S. <laughs> All right. <laughs> They're lovely. They're very lovely. Also, I, I like the idea that he redrew this entire scene and he's she's gone to this much effort and, and just really, really a lot of effort. By the way, this runs in in DOS. This is original SCI. It's not like a remake in, in Adventure Game Studio or anything. This is proper SCI. It runs in DOS. And it still has, you know, the fucking puzzle where uh, Red Riding Hood is running around the forest going, where's my basket? I lost my basket. And it's right in Granny's fucking mailbox. 
basket basket of goodies to work on. That this sounds thing. like a redneck euphemism. Yeah, I got the classic <laughs> chime there. I am also that having a bit of help for really a few bad. screens in this game. Uh, I'm not the yeah, best. That or Little Red Riding Hood was committing can, mail fraud to make something that <laughs> at least tries to measure. Do they, up does he have the, uh, the, the little one. Batman uh, thingy? That's I all am... I remember about. Because... The Easter egg, yeah. Oh yeah, I'm sure he's gonna put that in because I mean it would be, it wouldn't really be King's Quest two and if 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 it didn't have the Batman Easter egg in it. So uh, this isn't finished. This is just an alpha. Uh, in fact, I actually okay. have a, an alpha build that I was gonna play on the stream, but we are already running a bit long, uh, so I'm I'm not gonna play it right now. But uh, you know, we can uh, we can always play that later. Remake. Uh, background. I'm just going to let Brandon talk about it. And awe inspiring to look at. To that end, I've had uh, a couple friends online help me. Ryan Slats, who was making Betray the Lines, did this screen for me in front of Haggisla's cave. A little Easter egg here with this rock looks like a skull, which is a nice touch. And I really like this screen. And I've also had uh, help from. Uh, Steven Schrader on Twitter, aka Day of Ore, uh, on Twitch. And he's helping me with some swamp screens, which. Well, I'll show you the. Uh, what the original swamp screen looks like. So, kind of like this. I got some animating bubbles on, on there. So, what he's helping me do is make it look really absolutely oh. creepy, like Colonel's Bequest levels of creepy. He's making the swamp look oh. like this. Absolutely incredible. Holy. I thank you, Steven, immensely for sharing your talents with me on this humble little silly remake. That is really creepy. <laughs> but, and so he's done two screens so far, this one and this one, and it's just absolutely stunning and perfect. Yeah. See, well, this is a, some good stuff, actually. I mean, yeah. this, I mean, this is what, I mean, in, in the original, you just go, oh, that's a little murky water, and then you step into it, and Graham immediately drowns and dies of extreme poisoning. And this actually looks like, you know, looks like it would kill you. The, the water in the original didn't. Colonel's Bequest style uh, mists in the horizon there. Really gives yeah, a sense of justify uh, him this ruling being a the very truly corrupted swim. area. Yeah. I like that um, Stephen was, uh, pays very close attention to detail as well. The tree I drew on this side... Well, to be fair, King Graham's only pool is like what the moat filled with the alligators and the sea <laughs> monsters. Oh yeah. So. Oh look! Well if he done. accidentally fell in that moat, he's Beautiful gonna learn work. how to swim just, real fast. I want to play this game after every time I see this. <laughs> but it's not done yet. I'm also doing something that um, King's Quest One SCI did a little bit on two screens, three screens in the whole game. Um, right in front of the castle, you can see Graham's reflection. So I coded that in. Ooh, uh, that's a cool reflection. Here for the yeah. reflection in the water as well, which is oh, a little yeah. more ambitious than anything Sierra did, because as you can see, because I'm behind the rock, that is nice. Right here, the reflection must also be behind the rock. But if I walk in front of the rock, the reflection has to be in front of the rock and the reflection as well. well this took a lot of time to get right. I can imagine. And I can show you with some debug commands. Here's what it looks like. So these are the priority Ooh. band colors. So I had to make the well, reflection one priority, priority band less than the ego, which is the main character, so that anything he's not supposed to be reflected on doesn't get shown. But obviously Graham has to be drawn in front of it. <laughs> so I had to draw every ah. single priority band in, fill it all in, except for the parts where the reflection should be shown. And I did this Intel for every single screen. Intelligent. Television. It actually turns out that this is just the normal screen, and whatever was in Gemini's pipe just kicked in. <laughs> has it. That has water reflection. So, it, I just wanted to see if it was possible, and... Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, man, so it's finally, you all see what I see. <laughs> well, I, I will see in 2600 too, man. But not everything is finished, obviously. Uh, for yeah. the assets that aren't finished, it just uses the AGI placeholders. So you know for... you got the good shit when your vision's dithered. <laughs> yeah, I was just gonna say my. It just Lord, uses that's the AGI a lot of pictures dithers. and sprites. It gives you points and everything. Whoops. Oh, and you just some of these screens aren't finished yet. You can walk right <laughs> off into the clouds here. Is this where we queue <laughs> yakety sex? You yes. Can't actually... Well, there's a couple <laughs> Unle places you uh, can die. But unfortunately we can't, because that gets a copyright strike. Ooh. If you go across this too many times, 
this will break. I think I might give it the Space Quest 1 treatment, though, and have it... <laughs> and it shakes the screen and water it the message, just like King's Quest 1. What I'm going to do is give it the Space Quest 1 treatment and visibly show the bridge cracking every time you walk over it. Here's a beautiful new set of screens for the church here, the monastery or whatever. Uh, it was sketched out by a friend of mine from Infamous Adventures called Little Blue. So is this the and I traced third Sorry. King's Quest Two remake? I honestly don't know. How many have there been? Hey, Voozle. Hey, Voozle. Over it with the vector graphics over his sketch. And uh, I took some elements from other games. This foreground tree here is from King's Quest Four. And, but this one, he also sketched the interior, and I recently finally traced over it in uh, vector graphics here. That is nice. That's a lot of dithering, though. <laughs> so I kind of like it. <laughs> that is cute. Also, someone drew me uh, an animated whole, really good, a whole sprite sheet for Graham. Hey, he just had to set up the, uh, sound. The black cloak. Oh, hey, yeah. Don't mind. Which looks absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Oh, I'm finally, be, you can uh, actually see him wear the cloak. Everybody who helped me a little bit with, uh, with, with anything in this game. I'm doing most of the, I'm pretty much doing the pro. Oh, I've never seen the original version and too. the music and sound effects, but I need help in the art department, and I am certainly getting that now. Here's Tandy 3 voice. Well, I remember this game is my friend and I got to the back cave part, and then we just lost our shit. <laughs> Oh, I hope he's going to play the PC speaker. And this will work on original hardware as well. So you can take this game and run it on a Tandy 1000, and you'll get this sound. <laughs> Same thing with your 46, your 286, what have you. And I'm going to supply drivers for EGA, CGA, Hercules Monochrome, CGA Monochrome. CGA, CGA, pain, train, pain, train. Just to have maximum compatibility all the way back to as early as machines as I can possibly have. Your eyes recovered from the pain train, Here's PC friend. speaker. Oh, I'm, I'm in love. I, I, yes, PC speaker. Which is not very interesting, but if you have an old computer with a PC speaker, you'll get this sound. And I'll be doing this for the entire soundtrack, all the sound effects. Do like a full system review of this. Sorry, what was that? What did you say? Get this once Brandon once Brandon finishes this. Get it on LGR or something cool like that. That'd oh yeah, oh yeah. Everything. Here's MT32. Boy, he went all out, didn't he? Damn. So it will have full MT32 compatibility, a whole soundtrack composed by myself. And I'll be referencing a lot of the um, tracks from the Apple II GS version of the game, which has a couple more themes that weren't in the DOS version. And obviously a whole slew of new material by myself. He sounds so weary when he says that. <laughs> you blame him? No, that's a hell of a project. Still pretty, pretty fucking kick-ass what he's done here. Oh, yeah. Cool. Oh, he does live streams of these, by the way. He does live development streams. Uh, I hope he's going to mention that at some point. He's just... He's just insane. Well, I mean, you did. Yeah, well, I, I just did, but I, I, I can't remember what his Twitch, <laughs> what his Twitch channel is. So hopefully he's uh, musically inspired from what I've just done a bit of. Uh... Oh, cool! Twitch.tv slash musically inspired. Yes, that is Korean. Also, one other thing I wanted to no, that, that was show great. is, I implemented a feature. I, I had a few different designs for the the game title screen, the logo, and uh, I wasn't sure which one to use. I used some different colors. I asked online. Some people preferred different things. And then, I, then I decided what I can do is set it so that if you hold down a certain key, it'll do a different color. So right now, if I launch this, it does a, the regular red. 
Oh no, he went but with the dust you thou wishes. The letter W. Forsooth. Now it's white. <laughs> and this, oh, this is was the, King's uh, Quest 2, not 8. <laughs> yeah, the exactly. Colors, um, scheme of the original AGI logo. Didn't play that and one. I can do it again. Press B, and I'll get a blue one. <laughs> That's an alternate I made at one point. I kind of liked it. And one last one that's kind of princessy. No! Hey, hey, hey. Pain train! The Kingsquest 4 never looked like this. It's a purple banner with some silver letters and, uh... Silver letters, yeah. So it's just some neat extras that's, that you could do. That's not silver. That's, if that's... You yeah, no, it's not. Whichever that's the pain train. Of the four. Oh. <laughs> My okay. nipples just got hard. The tool set I'm using... <laughs> To create this game is uh, then photos where it didn't happen. SCI Companion, <laughs> which is a successor to Brian Provinciano's SCI Studio, which he started back in the late mid to late 90s, and uh, and then eventually just abandoned to work on other things. But luckily Phil came to the rescue, and uh, now so we can edit all the animations, and we can test animations and change the colors um, for pictures. Everything's drawn with vector commands. Um, so this is how the screen was drawn. All the vector <laughs> commands on the left here show you everything. So here's what the scripts look like. It's a whole syntax, but there's a lot of documentation that exists. And on the forums, on the sciprogramming.com uh, community forums, there's a whole bunch of uh, helpful people who can help you if you're interested. Dude, my in eyes in just glazed like over. And that's yeah, you just lost me. <laughs> and I'm, I've been working on this for still about 15 years the, um, now. And I'm not sure when it'll be. Did you say 15 it, years? I'm slowly picking away at it bit by bit. Hopefully, you found this interesting. I think he said 15. I think he said he's, he's been working on this for 15 years. Holy shit. Okay. Back to. Hey, hey we're back. All right. Where the hell did my script go? <laughs> if that was fifth, if if that was 15 years, he deserves an extra eight minutes of show and tell. That is true.